hi and welcome to my tutorial in uh, art illusion so in this very tutorial I'll just be creating uh, an hourglass so I'm going to start by setting my grid so let's yeah there we go so the next thing I will do now is select this very object there just drag it across okay and take it down let's take it up at that and here I have the property so I'm going to set the property uh, so let me set that to a zero point zero and uh, oh sorry you guys you can't see the property properly let me just bring it in here so I'll set that to zero point zero then uh, set that to minus one point zero five and the z axis I will leave the z axis the way it is so the next thing is just to set the size the size is going to be one point one and one point five then uh, the y will be zero point one and the z axis will be point one five okay that's that done now that my my program is set for now so what i'll do is let me just show you guys what i'm creating from uh, the camera view here uh, let's undo that uh, that's the camera view here you guys see that okay let me take it back let's zoom in first yep take it up and zoom in a little bit all right so okay so I'm just gonna copy this select use this selector selection tool right here click on that and right click copy now paste it on board you won't see what you've pasted so use the move tool which is right here use it to move it and you guys see that now so that's my that's my, the second part of the hour glass that I'm making so just want to make sure everything is seen is in order okay so the next thing is I'm gonna use this very property here just draw maybe let me change my grid so that I have it a little bit smaller let's make that too okay uh, that's a bit still too big I just want to use it as a guide yeah that's fine so just draw my hour Let's draw the legs for the hourglass right here. Click and draw. You guys see that? That's brilliant. Yep. Okay. And this is how it's looking right now. So let me just click also and see how it looks. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, maybe use the selection tool and just pull it a little bit down. yeah that's fine so the next thing I'll do is select here and just right click copy and paste it in there okay then just use the move tool and move you can see that's my second one okay from this angle here you can see both okay, let's move this one down That's fine, that's fine. So let's just move it. Move it there and take it to the other side where I want it really. Okay. And take it up. So that's where I want it. Alright. So as you can see from the left view, you can tell that uh, it's not that aligned. So let me move this. Move it down. two of my pillar right there so I need one more I need two more actually 
right click copy then paste and just bring it down there now right click again copy and paste now that is the fourth stand for my hourglass so you guys can see right there can you see it now so the next thing I'll do is just to use this uh, mesh tool there and draw mine and just draw out a curve that I will use to create my glass okay just something something very similar to this yep I think that might do it but uh, let me just edit this so I double click on that there so let's click on the node and pull it and just pull this as well okay let's see how that looks uh, I think it is looking a little bit okay let's bring it down a little bit yeah, yeah that's not too bad okay so it's looking a bit okay now so let's go back into the, the development environment also like move this just click on that and drag it back yeah so just something like that and this right here let's cut that off cut and I think I'm gonna have to bring this down a little bit take it down a little bit that's fine okay so now let's go into the tools tools and oh that looks a little bit too it doesn't look much of a, of a glass so maybe I need to take it in more so let me just go back to do yep double click on the cup to and bring this one in just take it in a little bit more okay as soon as I finish uh, adjusting this I think yeah that might do it Let, let's just see how it looks for now okay it's looking good maybe take it back a little bit more double click on that and yeah, just bring it back in mm -hmm. one more mm -hmm. yeah looking good let's try to get it perfectly right click ok go back to 2 select the latitude yep I think I'm gonna settle for that that looks that looks more much much more better and that is it guys that's how you create uh, that's how you create an hourglass in uh, art illusion package so you see that guys that's how you create an hourglass so let me just select uh, control B so that you see the, the artwork that's the artwork right here guys can you see that the 3d artwork it is beautiful okay so what I'll do next is uh, maybe you can all we can also render it if you want and um, save it so let's say I render okay let's click on OK that's it right there that's how the hourglass look after rendering it all right so i'm just going to call this a day for now i uh, suppose you all enjoy it so you all have a nice day now bye